In a regular hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B vector is given by A vector and B, C vector is given by B vector. Then express C, D vector, D, E, E, F, F, A, A, C, A, D, A, E and C, E in terms of A vector and B vector. We have a regular hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F. The property of regular hexagon is all the sides are equal, all the interior angles are equal. To understand, to get express CD, we have to understand what is AD vector. For that, let us see what is the magnitude of AD. So, we have a isosceles trapezium here with AB, BC, CD equal to same length, let us say equal to X. Then what will be AD? AD is 2X, we just want to prove it. So drop perpendiculars, then we have one square and two 30, 60, 90 congruent triangles. So AD will be X plus from one triangle we will get X by 2, from other triangle we will get another X by 2. So AD will be X plus X by 2 plus X by 2 that is equals to 2X. Now what we have done, we have given the directions for A, B, C, D, E, F, A. We started with A, B and we continued in the same direction A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, A. So we can see that now A, D and B, C both are in the same direction and the magnitude of A, D is 2 times of B, C because B, C magnitude is X then A, D magnitude is 2X. So I can straight away write down A, D, A, D vector is equals to 2b vector. Now let us also try to close those vectors which are easy to write down. AB vector and ED vector are parallel to each other. Magnitude is same but in opposite direction. So AB vector is A bar then ED vector will be minus A bar. Similarly, BC vector is B bar, then EF vector will be minus B bar. Now, let's try to find out CD vector because we calculated what is AD vector. We can go to the trapezium ABCD and we can write down AB vector plus BC vector plus CD vector plus DA vector is equals to 0. Or can we say that AB vector plus BC vector plus CD vector minus AD vector equals to 0? We know that DA vector is equals to minus of AD vector. Now let us substitute the values what we know here. AB vector is A bar, A vector. A vector plus B vector plus C D vector minus 2B vector equals to 0. From that we can calculate that C D vector is equals to our C D vector plus A vector minus B vector equals to 0 or C D vector equals to B vector minus A vector. If we got CD vector equals to B vector minus A vector, then look at what is FA vector. Exactly parallel to CD but in opposite direction. So magnitude is the same, we know anyway. So FA vector will be A vector minus B vector, exactly minus of that. Like how AB have ED and BC have FA, CD opposite will be FA. FA vector is given by A vector minus B vector. So we finished CD, DE, EF, FA. Then we have to do AC. So let us join A to C. Let us say the direction is going from A to C. Then we will apply here. Triangular law, we have AB vector plus BC vector plus CA vector equals to 0. That means AB vector plus BC vector equals to AC vector. 
because C A vector can be written as minus A C vector. So, we know that A B vector plus B C vector equals to A C vector. That is A vector plus B vector equals to A C vector. So, A C vector is equals to A vector plus B vector. Now, let us go to the next one. We finished A C over, then we finished A D. Then, let us go to A E. To do AE, we will take triangle AFA because we know what is AF and FE, we can easily calculate AE. So, in triangle AFE, let us join A to E first. Then we also need to take care of C to E. First, let us do A to E. And the direction will be A to E. Direction of C A will be C to E. Let us look at the triangle A F E now to calculate the value of A E. For that we will write down in triangle F A E or A E F. We have F A vector plus A E vector plus E F vector equals to 0. F A vector is given by we know that A, A vector minus B vector plus A E vector we do not know, but we know that E F vector is minus B vector. Let us simplify this. We will have A vector minus 2 B vector plus A E vector equals to 0 or A E vector equals to 2b vector minus a vector. So, we got a e vector also, only left out is c e vector. Now, left out is c e vector. For c e vector, we can do it in so many ways. We can take triangle a c e or we can take triangle c d e. CDE seems to be little bit easier. So, let us go with triangle CDE. So, CD vector plus DE vector plus EC vector equals to 0 or CD vector plus DE vector is equal to CE vector. CD vector is B vector minus A vector and DE vector is minus A vector plus EC vector can be written as minus of CE vector. So, C E vector is equals to B vector minus 2 A vector. That is how we can represent all the vectors in terms of A bar and A vector and B vector.